Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I've done outfits of the week in the past, but I thought I would tweak it up and make it a little bit more fun. It's gonna be outfits of the week, but also taking along with me on my little adventures, sort of like a vlog mixed in with my outfits. So comment down below, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this. Maybe I can do them not every week, but I can maybe do them every two weeks. So comment down below, let me know if this is even something you guys wanna see. So without further ado, we are going to jump right into this video, enjoy. Happy Monday. So today I have a dentist appointment. I never told you, but I've been wearing Invisalign for the past year and a half. I've been doing the whole Invisalign treatment. I've always wanted to get my teeth straightened since I'm a kid. My mom was not able to afford it. And up until now, I was able to allow myself to get Invisalign. And it's always something that I wanted to get fixed, not only cosmetically, but the dentists have been telling me that I needed to get braces because a lot of food stays stuck there. And then the food stays stuck, I get cavities and I have a lot of problems with my jaw. So it's not only cosmetic, but it was also functional and it was causing me a lot of migraines. So I finally was able to start this procedure. And let me tell you, it was quite a long journey. What they don't tell you about Invisalign, you think it's one of those in and out things where you're able to take out your Invisalign every day, which you are. But what they don't tell you is they start putting little grippers on all of your teeth, like mimicking a little bit like braces. The only good thing is that you're able to take out the Invisalign if you want to eat or, you know, so you feel less, I guess, claustrophobic would be the word, but it's still showing on your teeth. So every time I was filming, I was hoping you weren't noticing, but finally this appointment is the end. They took out all the grippers off my teeth. So, so today I'm going to get my night guards. So for the rest of my life, I'm probably going to have to wear a night piece so that my teeth don't move back. The thing about teeth is they have a memory. So they tend to want to go back to their original position. Some people get metal strand in the back of their teeth, but I'm going to keep wearing the night guard but just to keep my teeth in place for all that hard work and all of that pain and all of that suffering that I went through is going to be worth it. So, so that's what we have today. We have a dentist appointment. I have a few errands to run. I probably have to go to a grocery store. I pretty much go to a grocery store like every two days. I know it's really bad. So that's what I have planned today. So it is going to be dentist errands kind of day. So I wanted to dress somewhat, not too casual, but not too dressy. You know, you're going to the dentist. You don't want to look like, you know, like you're going to a party here. So what I was thinking of wearing was either this super pretty denim skirt. And what I wanted to do is denim on denim on denim today. That's what I felt like doing. So it's either this or I was thinking of putting this one. So that one has a little bit more of a boho vibe. This one is a little bit more simple. And so I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one i think i'm going to be a little bit more comfortable it's a little bit less dressy so we're going to go ahead and put this one on okay skirt is on now i'm going to probably wear this shirt since i want it to be denim on denim the skirt i end up getting at marshall's i think i got it last season at the end of summer when it was on sale so i really scored with this one there was pockets that used to stick out and i end up sewing the pockets right here so that it doesn't stick out it was doing this weird thing so now it's like more flushed onto my hips and so i'm thinking of wearing this top which i got at the thrift store and look at the little peekaboo at the bottom here i think it's super cute so I think we're gonna go with this one. I think this is looking cute, super comfortable, very casual, denim on denim, that's the goal. And I like that they have these little peekaboo right there and it looks, there's a little, a little sexiness to it, but without looking, you know, too much. I think I'm gonna unbutton a button here so you can see my jewelry like this. I feel like I'm more comfortable. So next, I'm probably going to wear my combat boots because I want to tone it down, give it a little bit more of an edgy feel. And my combat boots, I feel, are going to do that. So I ended up getting these at Zara. I believe it was maybe a year ago, and I have worn these to death. I love them. They're super comfortable. They have a little platform, so they give a little height. They are the perfect combat boots to edge up your outfit. Okay, so 
So, you see, it kind of gives a whole grunge but cool vibe. Okay, what I was also thinking of adding is a belt. What I was thinking is either this belt, this really big belt like this, or wearing two belts like this. So, um, let me just see with the two belts first. I'm loving this double belt thing where you wear two belts at the same time. So you wear one higher up like this. And then you wear another one a little bit lower on the hip like this. But you can play around with it, put it on an angle, you know, make the buckles not align like this. I don't know, I think it has a cool vibe. And what I was thinking too is maybe creating some jeans that have like a double hoop thing. But I think I'm going to try on the other belt. I think I'm going to be more comfortable probably with one belt. So let's go ahead and try the other one. I ended up getting this belt. I believe it was at the thrift store. And it's one of those pieces that I'm shocked that someone got rid of. Yeah, I think I feel much more comfortable with this belt like this. I think I might have to tighten it one little notch. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. Gives the edgy vibe with the boot, the combat, the little belt. So I think I'm liking this. I think this is good. I got inspired from this coat right here. And it's a coat dress. I ended up finding it at the thrift store. And so I made my outfit based on the coat. I felt like wearing a denim coat. Okay, so you can either wear it like this. It comes with a belt. I took the belt out because I will be wearing my harness with it. Sort of jean, denim on denim with edginess to it that's my goal so i was thinking of adding my harness you have seen this harness i wore it so many times let me show you okay it is this one i love this one i've had it for about two years now i end up getting it at doll's kill it had sold out but now i had seen it restocked so if you're interested in getting it it's i think it's now available again and i love this harness i love layering it over coats i love layering it over dresses it is so endless on how you can layer it and i feel it adds this cool vibe to your look so you can either wear it like this so a little bit more open let me grab my hair out of the way so like this or i love to close it up like this and then i think it's the perfect way to cinch in anything whether it's a coat or a dress it, it creates this hourglass shape and it gives you like a cool vibe so yeah so i'm thinking of wearing it closed like this okay so that is it this is my outfit this is my look so let's head to the dentist and get that night guard so we are off literally the best sauerkraut so if you guys like sauerkraut it's the best one i've tried so many and this is so good it's like the perfect vinegar taste so we pretty much come to the grocery store 
every two days and I know that's crazy. It's just one of those things that we buy stuff and we think that we have enough stuff and then we don't. So we always have to go back to the grocery store. Now, what am I missing? There's a couple things that I'm still missing. Look at all, they have such a great like selection of teas and coffees. Like look, look how many teas. grocery store is sort of an all healthy grocery store it's, I don't know what it is in the States but here there's a mix of vitamins and then there's a mix of beauty products like organic soaps and shampoos body washes this is like the beauty section so there's like nail polishes and just beauty things so a lot of you asked some of my nail polishes that I wear and it is this brand called Be Kind. It's actually, I'm wearing one of their blue color. I don't think they have it here. Oh, here it is, you see? So a lot of the nail polishes I use are Be Kind. I love this vitamin E. I actually put this with some jojoba oil, castor oil, and I use this one. And then I put some frankincense as well. I also love this brand. I actually use them quite often. I used to use their face oil to wash my face and they're exfoliating and this, this one here, it's a little pumpkin oil. And there's this one as well, this brand, Skin Essence, super good too. If you have sensitive skin, I love these perfumes. Obsessed with them, the Pacifica. This is the, the vanilla one. They used to make them like this before and then they came out with some body sprays and I love them. clips like these or a big clip like this and usually it gives me more volume either I'll put it like this and I feel that this helps with the volume so if you're looking for a good volume trick this or I normally will put the clips where it helps a little bit like this I know it's I look crazy but it really does and this kind of helps normally with the front of my bangs where I like it to do a little swoop here. So now I'm going to go ahead and brush it a little bit to look less like I'm a crazy person and take out a little bit of the knots and then I go all the way to the bottom here. And then depending on the mood, I might either do it straight, but today I'm going to put a little bit of waves in the front. And if you guys don't know, my hair is pin straight. It is so hard for me to have waves in it. Since I'm a kid, curling doesn't last a long time. So that's why I use the clip, the hair clips, and I use my trusty tool. So I normally either do a lot of them everywhere, but today I think I'm gonna do a couple in the front, a little bit on the side here to make it look less fuzzy and fluffy. Because I had my headband on, I feel my part now is a little bit more off. So what I like to do is take a little bit of my piece like this and bring it in the front. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Bring it towards the front. Yeah, like this. I normally take two strands in the front and then I go here like this and then I bring it all the way down. So it creates a curtain bang without having to cut my hair. So I normally do that and then I go right underneath here, right here and I grab a strand of hair and then I do the same thing like this. It looks prettier. Take one here like this in the back, do the same thing, go downwards. And then to get a little bit of volume on the top, I will normally go and then stop it there. It creates a little ringlet on the top and then when you brush it out, it adds more dimension to your hair. 
So I do that. So I'm going to do the same thing. And then I take the bottom here and I curl the end so it doesn't look so wispy at the bottom. So that side is done. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. This side is, I don't know why, it's always a little bit more, it's more tricky to do. This side is easier for some reason. And then this side is, instead of going downwards on that side, you're going upwards in the opposite direction. So, and then you're bringing it down. And then I have to redo it every single time. I don't know what it is with this side. I have to redo it. Then I take the strand underneath here and I do the same thing like this. And then maybe one or two more to mix the straight and the wavy together. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't want it to be all curly, but I don't want it to be straight either. So I like to mix the two together to create more of that boho wild hair. Okay, it's starting to look good. See, it's not too much. I, I feel with the curling iron sometimes, I feel it looks too perfectly curled pieces and I want it to look a little bit disheveled. That's what I love. And then my hair at the bottom, since I did it a couple days ago, I normally like to separate my hair here. I go in one direction and then I go in the other direction and that creates more of a fullness to your hair. So that's something that I feel people don't do. We all tend to go in the same direction, but when you're doing different directions, I feel it creates more fullness to your hair. So that's what I love to do, especially at the bottom. Even in the top, sometimes I like going the opposite direction. Brush your fingers through it and it gives a messy vibe. Like this. Okay, so now that the hair is somewhat good, I like to put a little bit of a tamer, if you will. It's actually a little oil, rose oil. And I have to put it everywhere to take away the static, especially in the winter time. I feel the hair is much drier and it has so much static in it because of the heating. So I feel that this adds a little hydration and it keeps all of those fun staticky frizzies out of my face. There you go. And then I go ahead and put my little clips to keep it the little swoop here while I get dressed. There goes one. And then I take the swoop right here, and then I do that on this side like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get dressed. So now that my hair is all done, I put on the jewelry. Today I would decide to go with a mix of metals. You guys know I love to mix my gold with my silver. I find it creates like a dimension. And I got this cute little moon necklace from my sister for my birthday gift, which is coming soon. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm so excited. My birthday is actually April 14th and I am an Aries. They say that we have big hearts and we're hard-headed. <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> so today is pretty much all about errands. I am going to the grocery store. I have a gift to pick up for one of my best friend's husband. And also I have to go to Winners, do a few errands find some things because I'm doing a mini makeover in two rooms in the house so I am looking for pieces home decor pieces for those rooms so it's sort of a mix between cloudy and a little bit of sun today and it kind of goes back to rain so I thought it would be a little bit more moody and I want it to be comfortable so I am gonna go with this skirt that I thrifted I think I had thrifted it maybe a few weeks ago simple zara it has a little tie and it's sort of a silky satiny finish so i thought of putting that with this ottawa t-shirt also thrifted so i'm gonna start getting dressed i think this should be really comfortable yeah i thrifted it isn't it the cutest skirt even for the summertime if you want to wear like a cute crop top it's too big so I'm going to add a belt, but let me take off the 
pipes underneath. <laughs> okay, and for my t-shirt, like this. And then since the skirt is way too big, a belt on. So I'm gonna go with this belt like this. I think that this is my go-to belt. When I want something to fit properly, <laughs> it's like it fits, it's the perfect size for me and it doesn't hang. So like I told you guys, I have like a really tiny waist. So it's like, you see, it fits perfectly. When I need the belt to hold things, so here is with the belt and then to add a little spring vibe but still keeping it very moody um i thought of putting a denim vest so i'm gonna go ahead i think that, that should look cool together right oh and i have my <laughs> take out my necklaces so yeah i think it gives a grunge but yet western i'm gonna move on to my boots i think i'm gonna wear simple black socks my black combat boots that i wore on monday but i'm gonna rewear them today because they are super comfortable and like i said it's a little bit more moody and darker um it's like a bit like cloudy mixed in with some rain and then you get peaks of sun so i'm gonna be comfortable and i'm gonna be running around everywhere and these are like the comfiest boots ever so i'm gonna wear those okay so this is what it's looking like so far and the skirt has pockets it has pockets and I love a good pocket in a skirt. And I like, I also like that it sort of has like an asymmetrical, a tiny little bit at the bottom of the skirt where you can see peaks of my little boots and it's perfect. I mean, right now I'm wearing it like this, but I can totally layer it over some jeans and have fun with it. But I thought that, you know, it's so vibe. Let me take my hair out. So yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. And it's super comfortable too. So that was the goal comfortable in the feet, comfortable that I can move. I have to wear a coat because it's cold. We're in Canada. Um, so I'm thinking of wearing So I'm thinking of wearing this coat with a little gray hoodie underneath. Um, so let's go ahead. Continuation of the grunge look to my outfit and it's not <laughs> sunny outside it's still bright it's still during the day so i wanted to wear some sunglasses we're gonna go with either of these ones so let's go ahead and try the black so i'm thinking it's starting to look a little too matrixy <laughs> so let's try these ones they're like these silver aviator I think I prefer these ones. It kind of cuts a little bit. I'm probably going to wear the coat either open or I always love to close it. And then like this. But then I wear my harness on top. I swear that harness, I am getting so much wear out of it. I end up getting it at Doll's Kill, I think maybe two, three years ago. And I have worn that thing. Let me go get it. So here is the harness that I'm talking about. I love this harness. It cinches in every single coat. If you want to wear a belt, it's a cool way to accessorize over a coat or even over a dress. And so I am going to be wearing it over this coat like this. I find it cinches in everything, it makes everything look cooler. And there you have it. This is my Tuesday look. And I'm probably not going to wear any purse because these are like my little hands-free purse. So we are off to do a million things, run some errands, look cool. And yeah, let's find some treasures.
today. I'm going thrift shopping. I have some bundles to do, so I have to find some clothing to finish them off and package them so that they can be shipped. So I'm going to go thrift shopping and I have some errands to run. I have to go to the post office, to the mailbox. So I wanted to take out my pop of pink blazer. I want a little color. It's beautiful outside. I went with a simple white t-shirt, these cargo jeans, they're DKNY. I actually made a tie so that they fit me because they're really big. So I did two little holes, passed the rope through it, and there you go. Now they fit perfectly. So I thought of putting this cute little bag to bring in another little pop of color, feeling very spring like this. And this i'm wearing pretty i'm wearing all of koakaya necklaces i went with all silver today i not all silver i thought it went well with the pink look and then i am wearing these zero uv sunglasses and they're very cat eye so i thought i would bring back the pink right now i'm going through this thing when i wear certain sneakers i put it behind the sneaker tongue to give it even more of a cool vibe and you can see a little bit more of the sneakers so i'm going with my adidas you have seen this before super comfortable little sporty vibe but i wanted to dress it up a little bit with the blazer and then make it a little bit of pops of colors okay so i decided to add this gray coat because it's cold outside and i thought it would tone down the colors a little bit um, and then with my little pop of green there so this is my wednesday look Okay, let's do this. Let's go find some treasures. this as a kid oh my god it's like a cardboard box how freaking cute today and I put on my makeup, put on my usual jewelry, my go-to, my mix of metals. I wear these pretty much every day. So we are ready to get dressed. 
Today is going to be more of a stay at home kind of day. It's a lot of work. I'm going to be taking pictures of some of the bundles I created for my clients. What I love to do is to take pictures on a mannequin to show them how to wear it. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I have some emails. I have some errands to run. I have orders to package and then ship them off to the mailbox. Get that done. So today is pretty much you know, a little bit of home, running a few errands, and that is pretty much it. So I want to be comfortable. So what I was thinking of wearing, and I feel like I've been very much into the denim. I don't know if it's the spring. I'm drawn to denim. So I was thinking of wearing these super cute overalls. I feel like I'm either an artist or like a farmer, you know, no I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I love a good overall. You can dress them up, dress them down. There's so many ways to wear them. So I was thinking of keeping it very casual. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I end up getting them, oh gosh, I've gotten them a long time, so I'm not even sure where they're from. There's no tag still. Maybe I thrifted them or I think maybe it was Levi's. Not too sure. I'm 5'4", so finding things that are like great on the length is not always obvious. Okay, so now for the top part. I was thinking of wearing this Harley Davidson t-shirt. I ended up getting this at the thrift store. Look how cool it is. It has writing on the sleeves, Harley Davidson. It has blue and green. I love the vibe of it. So I think this is going to look super cute and very comfortable. That's the goal. So here it is, super cute. I'm gonna tuck it in to make it look like I'm floating less in fabric, so like this. What I normally love to do is tie it on one side and then you let the other side flop like this. I feel like it gives like a little bit more casual and cooler vibe. You're not trying so hard. So I'm gonna go ahead also, still keeping it in the comfy, I'm gonna go and put my high top Converse. They have a little platform so they give me a little height but they are the comfiest shoes ever. I'm not even kidding you. So if you're looking for comfy shoes, you need some Converse high tops, but the platform ones, the ones that are a little bit flatter are harder on the feet, but the platform ones are so comfortable. So this is what it's looking like so far. I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a hat because I'm on the third day of my hair and it's starting to get a little bit greasy. So I think it's gonna put a hat on it and cover it. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to go with my happy face hat because I feel happy. So I think I'm going to go with the trucker hat to make it look even more casual. And I think a trucker hat is like the best thing to wear. So there you have it, my Thursday look. Super comfortable, super casual. And now we are going to take pictures of the clothing that I got for clients. So let's get started. So right now, what I'm about to do is I've talked to you about my bundle boxes. And so normally, whether it's for home decor or the clothing, I love to create a lookbook so that my client can have an idea of how to style things, whether it's the home decor or the clothing part. So what I like to do for the clothing, this is a bundle for clothing. So I normally like to put things on the mannequin, take pictures, and then create a whole collage to give them an idea. Sometimes you get a whole bunch of pieces and you don't know what to do with them. So for me, it was important that my client feels like I'm sort of their personal stylist. I didn't put that on the website that it's something that I offer as well, but I don't know, I wanted them to feel like they know what to do with those pieces. Cause sometimes you get a whole bunch of pieces and you're like, how am I supposed to style it? So now we're gonna start putting things on the mannequin, taking pictures, and that's gonna be pretty much it. And then I'm going to go through the pictures, make a selection of the ones that I think that are the best outfits and then send them over. But I'm gonna send them over once the box is there. I wait for the person to get her package and then I send the PDF file. So let's get started. I end up finding so many pretty things. She was more into the whole summer, spring vibes. So, and she loves the whole boho look and she gave me full reins to do whatever and choose whatever I want. The only thing I noticed she didn't like was the red and the blacks. So I sort of stayed cleared away from that. <laughs> I got some more toned down versions of colors. I think for spring and summer, it's important to liven it up and put some beautiful colors. I know she loves green. Some of the outfits are a little bit more toned down. Some of them are a little bit more vibrant. So anyway, we're going to get started because it is a long process <laughs> to take pictures. It doesn't seem like much, 
but it is. So we are going to get started and start styling things and give her an idea. So let's do this. I'm already dressed. I put my hair up today because it is a dirty hair day. So I thought I would put it up in a ponytail, which is so rare. I'm wearing my comfy Halara pants. I've talked about these, super comfortable. And then I decided to wear like a purple, like a lilac -y and be a little bit more spring. So I went with this cute girly crop top. I don't know, it's like a a weird texture it's like super comfortable yeah so it's gonna be very simple casual i'm super comfy but i look very spring and so i thought of putting converse since i'm going and run some errands so today is all about errands i feel like i say that every day that's pretty much half of the things that i do for youtube is running errands getting the stuff for the preparation of diys home decor sometimes my bundle boxes Koakaya, I am constantly running errands at the thrift store, Home Depot. Those are like my <laughs> my second homes. <laughs> so today I have to do that and I also have to take pictures for Koakaya for the new arrivals. So that's what today is going to be all about. But I want to be comfortable. I thought of wearing my little sparkle silver Converse shoes. I think it's going to add a little pop to the purple outfit. So we are going to go ahead with I really should do a close-up on these. Look how beautiful they are. Like all of the little bling, even at the top there. I had gotten these, I think, two years ago, and I must have worn them like five times. So I'm going to pull them out. It's time to wear them. I don't remember where I got them, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. It's been a little while, but they're not shoes that you normally wear with everything. I love these shoes. I think that they're super cute, comfortable. They add a little pop to your outfits, to your look. Okay, so I thought of maybe wearing this necklace. I think, oh, maybe not. Or this one, like this, from Koakaya. They're both Koakaya. Um, I don't know which one, or should I wear both? When you don't know, wear both like this super cute see i mean when you don't know which one to wear you put you put both on <laughs> but i'm not sure about this belt i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the belt i think it's better it's one of those better without a belt like this so i think we're going to go without the belt like this. I'm gonna probably put a jean jacket. It's not super cold. So I'm feeling very denim. And I think with a little denim, it's gonna break a little bit of the purple too. So I'm probably gonna go with this 
denim coat. I end up getting this coat at the thrift store. I feel like I get all my denim coats at the thrift store. Actually, maybe not all of them, but most of them. The little hoodie in the back, so adds a little bit more sportiness to the look. And it has also elastics at the arms, which I love. I love that. I usually put like elastics. I did that whole elastic trick because I love having little peaks of my other shirt underneath. It's something that I feel gives dimension to your outfit. Um, so you can either wear it like this, super cute, comfy, casual, or you can tie it, which I think is so cute too. It's like has an asymmetrical vibe here at the end. And then you can tie it like this and it has pockets. So I think that that's going to be my look for today, keeping it, keeping it simple. I might put some sunglasses and I don't know, maybe a purse.
my jewelry I went with my mix of metals my usual go-to jewelry necklaces some of them are from Koakaya pretty much a mix of gifts Koakaya and that's pretty much it and then my rings my usual rings I love these I love mixing I don't know lately it's I'm, I love mixing the metals it's I'm not wearing all silver or all gold I, I love the, the combo of both so right now I need to get dressed because we are going on a celebration slash date night. I told you when I got my button, which hold on, let me go get it. Okay. Ta -da -da -da. Here it is. I'm so excited. Oh my God. I've waited so long for this. I told you that when I got it, I was going to go out and celebrate with the hubby and we were going to go for a nice supper. And I was taking it along with me, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm so, oh, there's no words, there's no words. And I wanted you to be a part of it because without you, this would not be happening. So I am so beyond grateful. I know I keep repeating myself, but this wouldn't be possible without you. And I really want you to know how much this means to me and how I get to do this every single day and create and inspire and feel so much love and support from all of you. There are no words. There really are no words. So I'd like to thank my followers, <laughs> my family, my friends, my hubby, my hubby. Let's not forget the hubby. And yeah, so here's to you guys. I love you so much. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I haven't found a place for it, but I think I'm going to put it in the back when I'm filming. A reminder of how far we've come. I'm going to have to find a really pretty place. And I'm so scared to like hang it to ruin it because it's like so important to me. And I know it's a plaque, but it's more than a plaque for me. You don't realize how being yourself and being true to who you are, sticking to what it is that you love that it can reach so many people and touch so many people and i am so blown away by all of this and this is a reminder of how far i've come and you know i haven't always been someone that was secure in her body and secure with who she was and i pushed through that and look you know there are days where you know i'm a human and we don't always feel at our best but all i can say is to push through things and be authentically yourself and this is a reminder to keep telling myself to accept myself, to love myself, and to have fun and play around and not take life so seriously. Be loving and kind and put yourself out there. That's another thing, you know? At first, I was very scared to do the YouTube. For years, I did not want to speak on camera. I thought I was going to be judged, but I told myself that I would do it. I pushed myself, and I am so proud of myself so it's a milestone for me it is a huge accomplishment and i'm so happy <laughs> so anyway celebration night with the hubby and with you guys okay back to getting dressed so now moving on to the outfit i was thinking it's not going to be this huge fancy schmancy restaurant but it is a little bit more fancy-ish so i wanted to keep it sort of dressy but casual so i'm thinking of going with my i know some of you are going to be like cringe i'm going to go with my cargo pants 
and okay let's try on the cargo pants i think i'm gonna go because at first i was gonna wear some jeans but i was like i don't know i feel like being comfortable not that jeans are jeans are sometimes not that comfortable but i thought of cargo pants it's different from jeans so we are gonna go with that then i thought of bringing back my little denim vest bring a little spring and I love, I love this denim vest right now. I am totally wearing it over dresses. I love it underneath blazers. I love it with a skirt. It's like a double denim. I'm into the whole denim right now. And this vest is the perfect accessory. So if you're looking for like the perfect denim piece, I would say get a vest. You know, like we tend to go towards jeans, but I feel like a vest is so versatile. The pants are pretty big. So what I'm thinking of doing is obviously adding a belt. So again, I'm going to go with my trusty belt. I thrifted this. The pants I end up getting, I think they were at Urban Outfitters a long time ago, like a couple years ago. The denim vest I got at Marshall's and this belt I thrifted. Like I say, when things are too big, this is my go-to belt because it's, it's the perfect belt and it gives like a sort of punk edgy look. I, just, I don't know. I love it and brings in a little bit of silver and a little bling bling what else okay now i'm gonna go with i think i'm gonna do a blazer okay i think i'm gonna do a black blazer okay so i'm thinking between these two so you have this one with this beautiful beading here or i was thinking a simple blazer that i added some pins on and some koakaya earrings and i sort of embellished it and then there's patchworks here patches here i think i'm gonna go with let me see i think i'm gonna go with this one let's see what that's gonna look like okay i'm not hating this this i mean it's a whole mix of different things but i think it works i think it works okay now for boots i'm gonna go with these platform boots i want to feel higher i want to feel taller my husband is six four so i want to feel empowered so i'm gonna go with i love a good platform because they're more comfortable than heels and so we're gonna go ahead and put those some simple black socks i'm not one of those girls that love as much as i love clothing i love fashion socks and bras and underwears i am like the most simple person ever i am not like this crazy like underneath this whole big bralette i love my sports bra and my cotton underwears and i know a lot of people are very much into lingerie i i'm not so it sucks for my husband <laughs> but i don't even think he cares you know some people it's more what they feel underneath as well i'd rather spend my money on my outfit on like a new shirt or pants or some new shoes or like a nice purse. Yeah, that's just more right up my alley. Oh, by the way, I got these boots from Dolls Kill. A lot of my platform boots I get from Dolls Kill. I think they have like the coolest and different platform boots. I don't know, they're different. They're not like any other shoe store. So, okay, this is what this is looking like so far. We obviously need a purse. It's still light outside, so I thought like some really cool sunnies because we're going to be up a little bit higher. I think by the time we get there, it's probably going to be evening time and it's going to start getting dark. But right now, they're still light, so we are going to put on the sunglasses. But I'm going to choose a purse. I think, I think a little bling to sort of dress it up and go get a little bit of the accent pieces. I think that's going to be cute. And then I'm going to go with, I actually got this thrift shopping. I think I showed you in one of my hauls that I ended up getting this purse. And then I'm going to go with these aviator, blue aviator sunglasses to sort of tie in the blue vest here. And that is my look. So we are off. We are off to celebrate. I'm so excited.
now we came a little bit earlier to the restaurant. I think we're like 15, 20 minutes. 15 minutes. We're like 15 minutes early and um, our seats are not ready. So right now we're just waiting in this sort of like bar lounge place. Um, but the funny part is that we actually don't drink. So we are like literally sitting here with no drinks and looking at our phones and just waiting for our table. And so hopefully it won't be too long and then we can eat, 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 eat because we haven't ate all day and we're both hungry, right? We are totally hungry. We're starving. station and then you wash your hands here and the lighting is so beautiful Sunday and I finished doing my hair my makeup is done we are ready to get dressed um, I end up getting this dress shirt slash dress I got it at the thrift store and I thought it was so beautiful I loved the color I was inspired immediately from this blouse so the rest of the outfit is pretty much gonna go around this blouse but it's like this beautiful linen feel I'm obsessed you can wear it like over some jeans you can wear it underneath like how I'm gonna do it it's endless you can wear it open as a duster I love long dress shirts like this I say dress shirt it's either a dress dress shirt you guys totally get it so what I'm gonna do is probably layer it today I am going to hang out with my family we are probably gonna go to just a little restaurant hang out eat some good food and take it easy but I still want to look cute and put together so I thought of wearing this shirt and then you guys have seen this beautiful fairy skirt that I also thrifted and what I thought of doing is layering it over and right here there's like a little slit and I wanted this dress to peek through so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna layer it so if you see it's peeking through right at the bottom there so what I thought of doing it's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna roll it up a little bit, rolling it up like this. Then I thought of putting a belt. So I'm gonna go with this boho belt that I got at, I think it was Forever 21 last year. And I'm going to cover the part that I folded. Okay, and then I'm going to add this little vest to give it more of a boho hippie look that's the thing it depends on the day a lot of people think that i'm boho and i actually love everything i it depends on how i feel that day so it's either i want to be grunge i want to be punk i want to be minimalist sometimes i love to be boho so i think it really depends on my mood so i would say i'm more of a mood dependent and it depends on how i feel that day and what i feel like wearing and how I feel like expressing myself that day. So that's pretty much my rule of fashion is and how I get inspired. Okay, so I think with the, the little vest, it adds a little bit of like hippie gypsy vibes that I am going for today. I think I'm gonna wear my black boots. These little boots from H&M. I love that they have like a little heel. So I feel like I'm wearing heels, but I'm super comfortable. So this is what it's looking like so far do you see it peaks a little bit at the bottom there it's very gypsy <laughs> 
I think I'm gonna add this scarf. I had showed you guys the scarf that I thrifted not long ago and you can either wear it like on your hip. I thought of wearing it more as a necklace today. So I'm just gonna roll it up like this and then I like to twist it so that it's extra thin. I'm going to wear it like this. Put it off to the side and let it hang do its own thing like this okay, so this is what it's looking like so far obviously I'm gonna wear a hat because I cannot have an outfit without a hat and then I'm gonna wear my Baker boy hat that I got from Feedy hats I got this years ago it's a hit like a hat store with like full of different hats and it's this designer that does them and I wore this hat so much I love a good Baker boy hat and I think that this is gonna look finish the look there it is so I think it looks very <laughs> it looks something it looks on like what I feel like wearing I wish the belt could be a little bit tighter but it doesn't go tighter than this I would have to make a hole because it's a little loose and I would like it to be a bit tighter so that it falls better Okay, so this is pretty much what it's looking like. I am going to put a coat. I'm going to wear my leather jacket. Obviously, it's still cold, but it's not too cold. So I thought of modernizing the whole look. And I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I thought that it would make it look more modern with a leather jacket. Like this. And it would tie in the boots and tie in everything. And... It just gives like a cool vibe to my outfit. So, okay, so I think that is it. I think I'm pretty ready to go. I'm just gonna grab a purse. I'm not gonna wear any sunglasses this cloudy day. So I'm gonna have, I have my hat and I think it's it's more than enough. As for a purse, I don't, I'm not sure what handbag I'm going to be wearing. So let's take a look. Okay, so for the purse, I'm going to go with this beauty. I actually thrifted this, and then I made the handles, and I added the fringe. And it's very boho, so, and it adds a little bit of texture and patchwork, and I love that. So I think that this is going to be my final look. There you go, guys. This is my Sunday look. I am ready to do a little hangout with family and look fabulous while I'm doing so. Okay, I'm off, guys. <laughs>